Welcome back to Andrew Jean Cleaning. Today I'm gonna to show you how to easily remove pretty much any kind of stain. Do you see this yellow marking right here? We're actually gonna be selling this mattress. It's not that old, we're redoing my whole uh, boys room. I have a light shining on it so we can really see the stain right in here. So usually guys, I like to go in with a Tide pen. This is a lifesaver. I have white bedding, my daughter has white bedding, but this is, this is large and I wanna show you something with ingredients that you probably already have laying around your house. Um, this even works with lipstick. As you can tell, it uh, turned up on my toothbrush right here. I was practicing on, to just to see how powerful this was on a towel the other day. Take a couple of drops of Dawn dish soap. You're gonna take some hydrogen peroxide. It's important that you leave it in the brown container like this because when it is exposed to light, it starts to break down. All right, so I'm gonna stir this up. So impressive, you all, so impressive. There's no exact science to how much of this that you use. Um, hopefully this red doesn't bleed, we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here. I'm just gonna use my toothbrush to help get it on the fabric. Look at this. I have no idea what this is. It kinda looks like pee, you guys. Like, I doubt it, but I don't know. Like, it just seems like that would be the most random spot. Um, look, it's coming right out, you guys. This has been on here couple years, I want to say. We hardly ever use this mattress. Um, you guys, I am so flippin' impressed. Look at that. It came right up. Now, if you have a really tough on stain, so I, like I said, I did it with towel and red, red lipstick just the other day, and I didn't let it sit, and it came up just like I'm doing right now. Um, if you don't want to use a toothbrush, let's actually go in with just this uh, towel right here and let's just dab a little bit because the bristles are the bristles the the bristles are a little bit abrasive and depending on the type of fabric that you have here, let's just go in like that. Oh, it is coming right off. The combination of these two things right here. This is like Tide Pen <laughs> in a little container and it smells much better. This has been a common complaint that many of you hate the smell of this um, and I can see that. And so actually the, the stain is extended right around here. There we go. All right, I wanna know, have you tried this? If you have a stain, again, just take a little hydrogen peroxide, a couple drops of Dawn dish soap. I'm sure that you can use any sort of dish soap. I just haven't tried, because this is just what I have, my ride or die here. Um, and that will come up. You guys, whoa, I'm so excited. That was way easier than I thought it was gonna be, because again, I tried this on the lipstick and I had to do a little bit more, uh, a little tiny more elbow grease when it came to that one. Well, since we're here, do you see this little stain? We're in my basement. We are redoing this basement um, as well. Let's just see if it's gonna get the stain up here on the carpet. See that yellow yellowing? No idea what that is. Um, I'm gonna use my toothbrush on this one. Carpet, I think, can handle it better than a mattress right up again i did not even have to let it sit stubborn stains let let this sit let the solution sit for a little bit before you go in can you guys see it it's gone good as new Ooh, i found another one i don't know what that is it kind of looks like ink or grease or dirt let's see literally i am so impressed how many times can we say that? Can we get a count here in the comment box below? <laughs> oh, that's looking much better. I can see just a little tinge right there. What I will say, just like with the Tide Pen, everything whitens up even more as it dries. I found another one. We're hitting the jackpot here today with stains. I have a whole video actually dedicated to cleaning hacks with hydrogen peroxide, so I'll link that below if you are interested. So let's see about this one. This, again, no idea what that is. Why is it that everything on a mattress seems to turn yellow? <laughs> Probably body sweat and that sort of thing, I would imagine. Makeup. That's probably about, that's coming out better. I should also mention, I have an entire video dedicated to removing almost any mattress smell and absorbing any moisture that is housed with inside these fibers right here. So I will link that video in the description box below. It's one of my top viewed videos on this channel, in fact. And my toothbrush is nearly white again with no sign of cross-contamination. All right, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it out to Pinterest and Facebook so that it can reach more people lots of goodies in that description box below a newsletter sign up and let's see if i can find any more stains around here